How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, <laughs> Probably the drugs that you're on. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to Alan Wake. This is Ryu Kuroku. Um, last episode, we got through the woods and the campground. We got back to Barry, all safe and sound. This one, um, we're gonna fall for a stupid trap. Help you folks. That's how we do things. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm we kind of do. That's why we're asking. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trip. Wait, the radio said that we were visiting? She's a nice Does girl. everyone know? Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. I'm... This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban, urban legends, legends come true, and get this: most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you Ooh. ain't wrong, Mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he <coughs> yeah, excuse Zane me. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano... There's a volcano. Oh, well, I mean, I assume Zane this is probably around Washington, right? Because I know there are volcanoes up in that area. Focus, there's a boat in the way. Where did the boat come from? Yeah, What's about up with the that? boat? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Don't know if that's oil or darkness, but oh well. Oh, come on. They give us the slowest character to follow. Ah, oh, boy. Boy, oh boy. Oh, hot dog place. It says it's open, though it's closed. Can I has it? Rabbit's foot special place. Hot dog, chili dog, taco dog, trailer trash dog, belly buster, monster dog, big dog, famous dog. Come on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. Alright. Now follow you. God, if you thought following people in Skyrim was bad. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron <laughs> Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The Scratch and Hag. Scratch Comes and Hag. Comes in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. Theo Weaver. Theo Weaver. Theo Weaver. Theo Weaver. Theo Weaver. I asked around. Okay. And she's that crazy bag lady. You Hold mean. on. Let's let's back up real quick. <laughs> Did. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be part of the game. <laughs> Let's play that again and <laughs> Okay. Anyway, Cynthia <laughs> Weaver sit there. Sit there. <laughs> she had some kind of a breakdown. All right. Oh, come on, this part's so slow, I hate, you know, it's, I've noticed this trend, like, at the beginning of these, each of these, uh, episodes, um, they have, like, the slowest exposition se section. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? Her life. Just here to talk to her, pal. Kind of wonder what's gonna happen, since everything's still kind of light outside, it's not like we're... Is she even home? Welcome to... to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, well, I mean, she's still Whoa, shadowy, she in, even in the light. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Some bad acting from someone who's supposed to be soulless. Hey, this is really good! Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. 
A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have any. She's yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. She's drugged up out of her mind. She's on pain meds. Oh, oh speaking Barry. of drugged up. What? Ah. Uh, what? It just got roofied, man. <laughs> I really wonder what her deal is. I insist. Got the whole Silent Hill, um... Let's say Silent Hill. Silent Hill 1 and 3. Back to work, boy. Evil chick at the head of an organization. I felt nauseous. Oh, we're back and in the, the dark again. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. Hmm. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save her. Rose took a day way. from me. She I had less than 12 than hours left to meet the, the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. <laughs> you calling him fat? <laughs> Alright. Deserve more money. I'm so handsome. Maybe we could tie a winch to him and just pull him out the window. I'm back up on the car. I mean, I'd drag him. I don't understand why you're spending so much effort on this. Okay, My gun so. And flashlight were gone. Oh, great. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. Drive through the window. Waste. That'll do it. So we don't have a flashlight, so I guess I'm just gonna have to learn how to dodge. Anything over here? No. Beer cans. Beer cans. You know, tropical, tropical. Wow, I. Jump up on my words too quick. Um, typical trailer park stuff. Devoted to the joke. Are you a monster? Oh, Not yet. Now. What did I? But I didn't do squat. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Nicolay. Wow, why are they so... Who shoots right away? I mean... Law enforcement doesn't do that. What are you? I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac. He must be, yeah, he's got to be under control. There's like no reason. Oh, back in the woods. There was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Oh, that means Barry's going to come back as a shadow. Escape the police. Oh, okay. I can do that. Where are we? I got really good at nowhere. You kind of got worse problems, though. I really, really need a gun. Uh, and the lights are off? Okay, now I'm a tad bit worried. Am I gonna get shot at? Yep, getting shot at. Oh, damn. I wonder if they can, like, headshot me and kill me. Whoa, no. Who shoots right away? I mean, I swear. Maybe they're, I'm, I'm sure they're all in on it. No one even got hurt. Uh, 
Where are we at? Uh All this limited running is kind of annoying. Up, oh, there's a page. Let me pick that up. Yay! Making some progress. Up, oh, shit's about to go down. Whoa! Well, I assume I'm gonna get a gun right now. I can't jump up. Oh, let me jump up. There we go. Gun, gun, person in car, something in trunk. Maybe over here? Maybe, is there something over here? Another page over here. Tree fell down. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well, that was a fun chase. Is she mad? Cause uh, we were, she, they were firing on. They call me a suspect, yet they were shooting at me. Uh, kind of uneventful right now. Besides the uh, shadows being all luminous and creepy, and oh, maybe they're not under control. Maybe they're just assholes. Jackasses. Oh, that means they're gonna have guns now. Oh no! This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Yeah, but. But. They, they were shoot. That doesn't make any sense, writers get together. <laughs> All right, where? Are we? Oh. Well, I don't want to be caught. Hold it right there. There's no way to run. Freeze. Oh, the birds are coming. Oh, wow. You just got taken out by birds. I'm sure what's your name's trying to protect me from them. Actually, I'm not entirely too sure what our plan is. Where are we at anyway? Checkpoint. We got a pair of binocular thingies over here? Anything I can peep at? Oh, it's one of those kinds of pairs. Oh, wow. Wow, those are way too fast. Okay, so that's where the copter crashed there, and yeah, that's way too fast. Is that the gas station I was at? Might have been. Maybe they found out about Stucky. But no, his body wasn't even... I don't know. Okay, it's Thermos over here. Anything else? Let's, try, let, 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 let's look through these guys. I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Okay. Well, I think that's where our goal is. We want to go to that radio station. Let's find out, though. Uh, can't move, can't move, can't move. All right. No, 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 no. Wow, I burned myself out of energy really fast on uh, sprinting. He needs uh, he needs to start working out more. Hmm. 
unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. So, wait, they're tr it's trying to stop me at the same time it's protecting me? That makes no sense. Okay, there's a light here. There was no power to the searchlight. Any electrical cable I can follow? Yeah, right here. Okay, so there's the generator. All right, well, we can start this sucker up. And then I guess they want us to point it down. There we go. Destroy the gate. Well, technically, I... Yeah, there we go. Ah! Uh, game... Checkpoint reach. Why am I gonna get my flashlight back again? I want to shoot things. Mm, take it away from me at the beginning of every episode. Oh, we got another one. Um, something's nearby. Up, oh, flashlight. Now I can fight. Ish. Only got five batteries. Gate has been defeated. Yay. All right, awesome. Do I get the gun? Do I get a gun? It took me a moment to recognize the flashback bands. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Okay, so we got flashbangs now. Hmm. Um, I'm getting tripped up on here. All right. I'm... Well, at least I can fight. Let's see how this works, though, real quick. Oh, that's an instant kill. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be the only time a flashbang can kill someone. Though, I do not want to waste these, so I think I'm gonna try to run off ahead. You want to at least kind of group them together, I guess. Not like I can melee people. Oh god, no, 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 no. Give me a gun. I need something to fight with. Ah, damn it. Oh. Where are they at? Where did they go? Decided to leave me alone? Okay, I'm fine with that. More flashbangs. All right, let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Checkpoint reach. All right. Well, I guess that's. Um, I'm gonna leave off right here. Uh, I guess we're gonna find out what happens next. We're gonna get to the radio station in the next one. But until then, this is Rikuroku. I'll see you guys later. Oh God, no. <laughs> ah.